I'm talking to Andrea Tarr today about a new back-end template called Hathor. Andrea, can you tell us a little bit about what inspired this template? The primary purpose between uh, creating this extra template um, is to give accessibility to the back end of Joomla. In 1.5, we added web accessibility to, to the front end, and this is a way to get it in the back end. So, Andrea, how is this new template different from the Bluestalk template that we see in 1.6? For people using it as just an ordinary menu, there are a couple of things that are, are different. It's using tabs rather than links for the submenus, and the toolbar icons are on the left instead of the right. The big difference that people will notice is that the manager list screens where they have the filters, instead of the drop downs submitting automatically, you need to click on the uh, Go button to actually make it submit. I tried to make it so that this template worked and functioned pretty much like the original so that if you had training in one you could automatically slip into the other one without any difficulties. One additional thing that's different is the status module where you um, see how many people are on the sites and log out um, have been put up to the top of the screen. Andrea, what are the highlights of the accessibility improvements that we're going to see in this template? There have been changes in 1.6 that make the 1.6 backend more accessible no matter which template you're using. But if you're using the Hathor template, um, you, have an additional, uh, you have additional features that make it even more accessible. Uh, and those are uh, the menu is now accessible and the submenus. It has a skip to content the forms conform better to the proper standards, including the appropriate use of labels and titles. We're also putting in the ARIA roles and some of the states and properties, such as read-only and required, um, can now be read by screen readers. Okay, so let's have a look at the template itself. Hathor's got a few options that you can configure. Uh, do you want to tell us about those? Hathor has got four different options. Um, the first one is fairly standard. It's a yes-no whether you want to display the name of the site while you're in the back end. It has also a high contrast mode which uses a separate color only CSS file that will change the colors so that they're high contrast. It uses a dark navy as the background color rather than the white. It also has an option where you could use bold type for all of the lettering in either the regular or the high contrast. The fourth option is to choose whether you're using the regular or the alternative menu. The Both of these Hathor menus um, are fully key, keyboard and screen reader friendly, um, but the regular menu has separate keyboard and mouse functions while the alternate menu synchronizes those keyboard and mouse functions. Who is going to want to consider using the Hathor template for their site administration? Anybody can use this template. It, it will work just as a normal template. However, it's really aimed at those companies that need to have accessibility, which would be obviously any company that has anybody who is has somebody who is going to be in the back end who needs to have an accessible template. It would also be governments and schools, some different countries where there are regulations where they need to have this web accessibility. The thing to remember about this is that, that right now you have to choose which menu or which template you're going to be using for the whole company so that you can't just have, if, if you have one person who needs to have this, you need to have the whole company on it. That's probably an important point to realize. So what's the next steps for Hathor? What are your dreams and visions for future versions? I guess there are, there are three ma major points. One is now that it's going out into the wild, um, we'll have a lot more testing on it. And I'm sure we're going to get reports back as to, to where we still have um, places that it needs improvement. We do actually already know of, of two places that we're going to be working on. One is when you go into uh, a, a modal light box where the screen is grayed out. If you're using a keyboard, you still have to tab through everything that's behind there. Um, the other one is that we still have that same issue with keyboards when we're using the uh, accordion panels um, on some of the parameter options. 
Andrea, thank you so much for spending time with me today and talking about the Hathor template. It's been great and it's really exciting for me to see this in the in the back end. Have you got any comments about 1.6 that you'd like to leave us with? I'm I, I'm just glad to see that this, the strides that we're making in Joomla to make it more accessible to everyone.